What's up, babes? Welcome back to the Miko Suit Supplies YouTube channel. This is an impromptu tutorial. If you have been following along with me in the Facebook group DIY Bikini or on my Facebook page, um, Miko Suit Supplies, you know that I'm in this big branding kick. I actually do make competition bikinis and figure suits for women in bodybuilding and since moving out to California so I made a, a cross-country move from the east to the west since doing that I kind of put my um, suit making business on hold and I'm going to restart my business and start putting myself out there again but I want to begin from the branding standpoint so I wanted to begin from the back end where I kind of neglected it. And um, part of branding for me was making my social media accounts look pretty and that includes Instagram. So for Instagram, I made all these new little story highlight icons, story, Instagram story highlight covers. So if you don't know what a highlight cover is, it's those little icons that appear at the um, very top of your Instagram's main feed so if you wanted to store a story longer than 24 hours you would hit the highlight button and it would pop up right there and these highlight covers are just another way to um, pretty much create a cohesive brand scheme on your social media account so uh, this tutorial coming up uh, in the next couple of minutes is just a quick and easy way for you to make a highlight cover using a free software online it's a free graphic design software and let me pan over so that you can see what it looks like so right now this is canva this is called canva c-a-n-v-a dot com canva dot com and um, what I had on the screen is actually going to be another quick tutorial for you guys on how to make really cute looking stuff. The one that I'm going to show you today is, is a really basic tutorial to get your feet wet in Canva. So enough chit chat and let's get to designing. I hope you enjoy. Oh, and if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to help. If I can't help personally, I'm going to find a way to direct you to the right place. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is sign up for Canva. It's completely free to use. There are paid features that you can pay as you go or buy a subscription with Canva, but for the most part, you can create all of your graphics for free. So there's a lot of presets already. There's Instagram posts, preset Facebook posts, and just a bunch of different um, already formatted documents that you can use for any kind of graphic that you want to make. Um, since I don't see Instagram stories in the social media post preset, you can go to find templates and then just type in uh, Instagram story. So even in here, you see that there's a lot of pre-designed templates that you can use um, like if you wanted to create a sale and alert your Instagram followers of that you can just you know use one of these templates and fill it in as you need it but instead of that what I'm gonna have you do is go back to the menu and hit create design go up to the far right top right and create custom or use custom dimensions then type 1080 and 1920 on your pixels width and height and click design. So you're going to have a completely blank template. Go to background and here you can see you can choose any color background, solid color background you want or patterned background. Um, <clears throat> if you scroll a little further down you can see that there's backgrounds available to purchase. Um, so you can choose those if you want to, but you'd have to buy them in order to get the Canva watermark taken off. So explore that. I like using textured backgrounds, so I'm going to choose this guy. And just to show you some capabilities, you can flip it so that it the gradient is dark to light. 
and then you can change the color of that too if you want to. So I'm going to choose this corally pinkish color. Then go to elements, go to shapes, and grab a simple circle. You can choose any circle you want, but for now I'm just going to grab the um, most basic circle with an outline around it. Here you can play with transparency of your shape. So if you wanted it a little bit more see-through, you can just um, play with the transparency bar, but I'm gonna keep it at opaque for now. Then um, go to copy this page and you can make you know exactly the same page over and over again especially since you're going to have multiple covers and you want to maintain the same format and the same the same sizing now we're going to use um, the search bar to look for some icons and usually for about me I like using a heart I think it's simple so here you see you have a lot of free hearts that you can use and um, I'm just going to choose a simple heart here size it up a little bit and then you can center it and you can see that crosshairs appear um, and that lets you know that your image is centered about the entire page or about another object so i'm just going to change this color now let's choose let's go back to this coral pink and um for the most part you want to stay within your brand color scheme this is just a you know, quick tutorial, but um, make sure that you have your brand color scheme in mind, at least. So for behind the scenes, I like using scissors. So we're going to choose these fabric scissors here. It's free to use also. Boom. Change that to coral tool and then shift it around a little bit. And then plop it right in the center. For the last icon, hmm, let's say that you want to use um, sales, like you want to say you have a sale going, so I like using price tags for to signify a sale. And change that color too. And shift it around a little bit. So those are some quick and easy icons that you can use to make your um, Instagram story highlight covers. But say you didn't want icons and you just wanted to write out exactly what your highlight would uh, specify. So all you would have to do is um, go back to your template, then go to text on the left hand side menu, go to add heading, and then just plop that in the middle and um, here you can see that there's a bunch of different fonts available but I like using playlist so let's make this highlight figure and let's size it up a little bit. And then center it again. Copy it over. Let's make this highlight bikini. And let's make this last one sales. So that's just another easy way to make highlight covers. So what do you think? Hopefully that was easy and it gives you an idea of how you can use Canva to uh, create cohesive brand schemes. Um, 
If you have any questions, of course, drop them in the comments below. And if you did make your own covers through Canva and using this tutorial, please do share it in the DIY bikini group or email me or send me a message on I can't talk. Send me a message on Facebook. I would totally love to see what you create. And um yeah, that's that. Stay tuned for the glitter one that's coming up probably next week. And I'll see you all later.